Greetings and welcome to another Pokemon 2019 or Pokemon Journeys the series anime video. In this video I want to talk about two new upcoming episodes that will be airing soon. More specifically I want to talk about episodes 76 and 77, which were both recently added to Bulbapedia's list of Pokemon Journeys episodes alongside their titles. Episode 76 was added first and I did think about making a video on just this episode, but I decided not to since there isn't enough information to make a substantial enough video on just this episode, and the preview for this episode will air in just under two weeks, so I decided to wait for the preview. But episode 77 was added soon after as well, and the preview for this episode is still three weeks away, and a video on both episodes is substantial enough, so I decided to make a video on both episode 76 and episode 77. Now episode 74 will air this week, and this episode episode will kickstart the mini Sinnoh arc that centers on Chloe, Dawn, Darkrai, and Cresselia. The continuation of this arc, episode 75, will air next week, and after episode 75, the anime will once again take a break. This time Pokemon Journeys will be taking a two week break, and episode 76 will air on August 13. Now Pokemon Journeys already took a break between episodes 72 and 73, a three week break to be exact, so I do wonder why they are taking so many breaks and with so little time between each break. Maybe it's due to complications related to the COVID-19 pandemic, or maybe it's because of the Olympics, or maybe it's because they want to guarantee the quality of the episodes, since the next couple of episodes, including the two that I want to discuss in this video, are going to be something special. But regardless of the reason for all the downtime, if we can get some good episodes, then I am fine with waiting a little longer before I can watch them. So, let's get to the episodes now, shall we? First up is episode 76, the title for this episode is Full Power Alola Uninhabited Iceland Race. The key word in this title is Alola. This tells us that Ash and Go will return to the Alola region once again in this episode. Now normally the fact that Ash and Go will travel to X region would not be significant, since this is Pokemon Journeys after all. The whole point of this series is that Ash and Go travel to every region in the Pokemon world. But Alola is a special region because it took 37 episodes for Ash and Go to travel to the Alola region for the first time in Pokemon. Pokemon Journeys, and since episode 37, Ash and Go have not returned to the Alola region, despite the fact that they have traveled several times to every other region, including the Galar region. Alola is probably seen so little in Pokemon Journeys because the Sun and Moon series is the series that precedes Pokemon Journeys. Alola was the last region that received an entire series worth of focus and so it is the region that is freshest in our memories. They probably wanted to give most of the spotlight to regions that have been outside of said spotlight for longer, or in Galar's case to a region that has never been in the spotlight prior to this series. So yeah, it is significant that Ash and Go will travel to Alola in episode 76 of Pokemon Journeys. Now what makes this return to Alola even more meaningful is that the last time that Ash and Go traveled to the Alola region in Pokemon Journeys, the cast of the Sun and Moon series did make an appearance, so I think that it is possible that we might get to see the characters of the Sun and Moon series yet again, which means that episode 76 might be something special. Outside of all of this, there is little else that can be discerned from just the title of the episode. The title does suggest that there will be a race, of course, which will take place in an uninhabited Iceland. There were several races in the Sun and Moon series, like the Pancake race and the Bicavolt race, so perhaps the race in episode 76 of Pokemon Journeys will be a race we have seen before, or perhaps it will be a new race. The full power part of the title might suggest that this race will be action packed, more than a normal race that is, or it might just mean do your best, as in give the race everything you have. But yeah, that's everything I can say on episode 76, this episode will air on August 13.
Next is episode 77. The title for this episode is Super Electromagnetic Hyperclass Battle. Now, in episode 65, Ash battled Iris. In the end, Ash was able to defeat Iris and he advanced to the hyperclass because of this victory. At the end of episode 65, the narrator said what kind of tough battles await Ash in the hyperclass. And we got to see the silhouettes of several trainers and their Pokemon. The only two trainers that could be recognized are B, which is not surprising since she did say that she will wait for Ash in the hyperclass, and Bogner, who was definitely a surprise. So it was clear back then that Bogner will appear in Pokemon Journeys at some point and he will likely battle Ash. Bogner is an electric type Pokemon specialist. Now going back to the title for episode 77, it's clear that this episode will center around a battle between two trainers in the hyperclass. I think that it is safe to assume that one of these trainers will be Ash. So this episode will feature Ash's first battle in the hyperclass, or at least the first one that we get to see, since they like to have Ash battle off screen now. The electromagnetic part of the title likely refers to Bogner, since again, Bogner specializes in electric type Pokemon, so battling him is an electromagnetic battle. The super part of the title obviously means that this will probably be an epic battle and I absolutely can't wait to watch it. Now this will likely be a 2 on 2 battle since most other major battles of the World Coronation series have been 2 on 2 battles. As for the matchups, it's likely that Bogner will use Luxray since Luxray was the final Pokemon that Bogner used in his second battle against Ash. Luxray was arguably Bogner's strongest Pokemon in the anime, and Luxray's silhouette was also visible in episode 65 of Pokemon Journeys. The second Pokemon that Bogner might use is Raichu, since Raichu is the only Pokemon of the Pokemon that Bogner is known to own in the anime that has not battled Ash. I could see a battle between Raichu and Pikachu, though we already saw this when Ash battled Biscus back in episode 18 of Pokemon Journeys. Bogner could also use Electivire or he might use a Pokemon he has never used before in the anime. Considering that Bogner's return is part of Pokemon Journey's ongoing campaign to build hype towards the Diamond and Pearl remakes, Electivire and Luxray are the two Pokemon that are most fitting, since they are both Generation 4 Pokemon. As for Ash, he will probably use Pikachu since Ash used Pikachu to battle Bogner before, and Pikachu would make this a true electromagnetic battle. Ash's second Pokemon will likely be either Gengar or Lucario. Ash used both Dracovish and Dragonite to battle Iris in episode 65, which is Ash's most recent World Coronation series battle or at least the most recent battle that we have seen. Sir Fetch had the spotlight for several episodes and it was used in several battles, the last one being the battle against Rinto in episode 60. Gengar and Lucario on the other hand have had a much bigger break from the action. Now like I said earlier, Ash did use Gengar to battle Biscus, another electric type specialist, so it would be fitting if Ash uses Gengar to battle against Bogner. But Lucario is the most fitting candidate since Lucario is a generation 4 Pokemon, meaning that Lucario can be part of the Sinnoh hype train. But regardless of the matchup, Ash's battle against Bogner is sure to be epic. Episode 77 will air on August 20. And that's all I have for you in this video. Do keep in mind that a lot of what I discussed in this video is speculation, since the only thing that we currently know about episodes 76 and 77 is their titles and their air date. I will be sure to follow up with a video on each of these episodes once the preview for each episode airs, and you can also expect a video review on each episode as well once they have aired. But that's the video, as always. Leave your own thoughts down in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and would like to see more like it, then please consider subscribing to my channel. I love Pokemon and I love making videos on both the anime and the games. Also, please consider clicking the links on screen so that you can check out more videos like this right away. Thank you very much for watching and let's meet again in the next video.